Yes, and you also just heard from the Ministry of Internal Affairs such words that make me more likely to pay. So really, my understanding of democracy is completely disturbed. Those who mock the state must have to deal with a strong state. When I hear the things that are partly coming from Mrs. Fazer, I don't want to repeat them at all now. Not that there's anything else being blocked here, but that's just not okay. That can't be true. So, and you're just really strengthening all the edges when you're on the road like that. That's crazy. If ordinary citizens are now, I didn't want to believe it all, but it's also true with you in Neuor in Berlin, where you really have official posts, where you can report someone for things that are not proven by criminal law, and then it will be noted. There can be no more denunciation. Where are we living right now, Marcus? Honestly. Now I'm a bit of a populist on the road. Quietly and secretly. Secretly, the people in Berlin, who supposedly rule us, have just increased their diets. Six to seven percent. Where I always think, tell me, how can you be so tactless? I don't need any support from the state. I can absorb the higher prices, and so can a number of citizens of this country. None of the people watching here would do their job if they had to bring money to work. One must not be critical, which I just think is absolutely fatal in democracy. Of course, you have to be critical, and of course you have to be critical of the government, of will otherwise. We cannot allow a party to take over a power that ultimately disregards and wants to abolish the republic. The DNA of this republic. Yes, with this slightly longer intro. Welcome to this new video in which we look at Farmer Dai and his colleagues. On the one hand, it is about the fact that the farmers have now been reduced so much and then have to pay extra by increasing wheat prices when they reduce their harvest. Yes, and that's just cannot go on like that. And then there is the increasingly restricted freedom of expression. The point is that in times of crisis, politicians simply increase their salaries, which is totally disrespectful and much more. But let's now look directly into the discussion or the conversation of the two actors. None of the people watching here would do their job if they had to bring money to work. And we are required to do so. And we have to say quite consistently, no, the combined harvesters are stopping, why should we still waste the fuel? The price has to fit, otherwise it just doesn't work. But, it's no secret now, everyone can actually calculate this normally. The wheat that I still have lying here now, if I sell this one for 18.5 euros, then I'm clearly putting money with us. And not too little. That's just the way it is. This is simply because we had such a high cost to put the wheat there. The fertilizer has shot through the ceiling. It was five or six times as expensive as it was supposed to be or has been the grain, fuel. You all know it yourself in recent years. That means I'm really putting money in here now. Well, now you can say the entrepreneurial risk that's how the markets are, yes, is fine. You can say it all like that. Just like, you just said right, who's doing this? Who's going to do that out there? Nothing. Now I'm a bit of a populist on the road. Quietly and secretly. Secretly, the people in Berlin, who supposedly rule us, have just increased their diets. Six to seven percent. Where I always think, tell me, how can you be so tactless? I didn't understand that either. There's no pig talking about it either. But like I said, we should do this. We all have to do this. How would have the power? As I said, you are actually completely right. So not everyone can store their wheat or grain or what they produce. But many could. And if they say no, I'm just not selling it. What do you mean? What then? What would be going on here? And so on. And you also posted something today from these emigrants on YouTube. I saw this today, the link you shared. What else was that? On the jumps. I think, I think, you have thought this from these emigrants who are traveling in Venezuela. He has a YouTube channel and it covers so many things. He says that I do this full time, and he also says that it is just so really limited. And that also realizes that a lot of things are more limited in social media. One should, one should not be critical, which I just think is absolutely fatal in democracy. Of course, you have to be critical, and of course you have to be critical of the government, of whom else? Do you know? It doesn't matter if I'm critical of my neighbors. No, of course I also have to and especially the opposition had the duty to be critical of the government if they think that something is going wrong. And of course it can't be that you are somehow limited if you say everything sensibly, like we are now. 
we were also critical of the government. But if you are not allowed to say that anymore, yes, and you are also hearing such words from the Ministry of the Interior right now, which makes me rather total. So really, my understanding of democracy is completely disturbed when I hear the things that sometimes come from Mrs. Phaser. I don't want to play it back now at all. Not that there is anything else being blocked here, but that's just not okay. Yes, and then politics has to put up with that too. When I think about, as I used to under Helmut Kohler, which governments were approached and something like that. But that's crazy. When I think about what I did with our then Minister of Agriculture and so on. This is already blatant, because I let it off the hook, and it was only as a sea-do. Actually, it didn't matter to our party at all. Of course, I'm critical, if something doesn't suit me. I don't give a damn whether it's the Pope or otherwise, and what's happening here right now. And I Wonger has to be a bit right about that again. We are taking back democracy. It is really necessary that we do this, take back democracy for ourselves, because what is going on here right now is, there's your channel, I think, where it's going on. For me, for me, this has nothing to do with democracy. I learned it at school, and these were certainly green teachers who said, well, let's take a look at picture articles here. Read the headline, read the text below, we'll take it apart now, and we've done that with a lot of newspaper articles. We should criticize, we should learn to be critical. That's what I learned at school. That was great. That was great. That was the best thing I learned, what the teachers taught me. And that should suddenly be obsolete now. Do you mean what I did while studying at the police? Do you know what democracy must be able to endure, and be able to endure this? And then I always think insanity. What does democracy have to endure? And the demos here, and that's all where we took apart demos in the debriefing. Where I think this can never be done within the framework of the constitution. But it was. That was. And then I say, where should all the forces come from? It does not matter for the event, it must be approved. Forces from all federal states must be called in if necessary. Democracy must endure this. This has completely changed. I don't even know where what my teachers have been trying to teach me. And as I said, so is your teaching. What's the point of that? That can't be true. So, and you're just really strengthening all the edges when you're on the road like that. That's crazy. If ordinary citizens are in the meantime, I didn't want to believe it all, but it's also true with you in Neuer in Berlin, where you really have official posts, where you can report someone for things that are not proven by criminal law, and then it will be noted. There can be no more denunciation. Where are we living right now, Marcus? Honestly. Yes, what Mr. Lee is talking about here, these are not brainstorms of his, but this is reality. Because now, with the self-determination law it's official, yes, I've also shown this clip from this break again and again. Yes, anyone who harasses others with an expression of opinion will, you have to pay a fine of up to 10,000. Counting euros? This is precisely in this context of the law of self-determination of this statement. Because if you are now facing a trans woman trans man, and you express your opinion, for example, as a woman to a trans woman, such a man who is now a woman, by saying, hey, I feel uncomfortable, because you still have your male sexual part, for example. And I just don't think it's okay that you are here in my shelter. Then he can walk to the police, and because of an expression of opinion that describes the reality, say yes you have the biological sex male, and therefore should rather be in the men's locker room, not in the women's locker room. If you say something like that, then you are ultimately the one who will be punished with a fine of 10,000 euro and not the other one, which would actually have to be reported for coercion under normal circumstances. So that would be the least. Yes, not to mention that of course much more could happen in these shelters. If one or the other comes up with the idea of simply spontaneously identifying as a woman now, because you don't have to prove anything else for this conversion, you don't have to do any surgeries or anything, you can just say it and it's good, yes. This is mentioned here again as an example. Of course, we also know that there are now reporting points for anti-feminism, and of course, there is now a portal by Frau Faser Extra, where you can then denounce or report other people, and then the police will check whether it is still an expression of opinion, whether the state welfare has already been attacked, or whether there is probably something against it under criminal law can proceed. So the opinion corridor, I have the feeling, 
is getting narrower and narrower and narrower. And that is why it is all the more important that such people as Farmer Lee, also like me, that is of course the goal here in the channel, continue to open their mouths here, continue to raise their voices against mainstream opinions, mainstream media. Because the problem is that many people nowadays, and that's what the studies or surveys say, no longer dare to express their opinions in public. And that is why it is important that there are still one or the other mouthpiece against it here. And I hope that I can also fulfill this purpose with my channel. In this sense, I like to leave a subscription, like, share, subscribe. See you in the next video. Until then, and ciao.